It's very rare that we have an opportunity to talk to folks from other states, uh, state departments of education to find out how they operate with a policy and how they operationalize um, education for counselors. Every textbook that I've ever taught out of for those classes, uh, the authors of those are all here. You know, it's kind of a surreal experience. I was joking last night saying, you know, if you're in the school counseling profession, this is like being at the Emmys or the Oscars. You know, you get to see the heroes and the champions that were your heroes when you were going into the profession and then have continued to lead the work nationally. Learning from other people that we hear about in theory, or we hear, oh, they're doing great work over in this state, you should look into that. Having everybody in one place at the same time has been incredibly powerful. Being able to sit down with them and learn from them and see their leadership at the national level and what that means for us at the state has really been um, just a ton of fun. I know many of you now because we've seen each other across the country trying to talk about the importance of school counseling. I've met some of you in Boston. I met some of you in San Diego. And I could not be more proud and overwhelmed by the generosity, the courage, and the spirit of each and every one of you and what you're trying to do through your organizations, through your schools, through your institutions to answer the First Lady's call to change the direction of this country by giving more young people the opportunity for a post-secondary education. The school councils are really starting to get more cheerleaders behind them and I think it's great when the First Lady is your, is your biggest cheerleader uh, and I think that that's been really, really helpful. So yeah, I think that we'll continue to see this trajectory going forward rather than going back to just a place of a stalemate. The shift really happened um, as much as when the First Lady um, announced her Retire initiative, and which has now been out there for about two years. And as we heard this morning, she made school counselors one of the four core tenants of that strategy. This has definitely created, from, from what we see, uh, uh, if I can use the word movement, you know, that I have an experience in my 40 plus years of, of education. Changing the status quo is really hard and each and every one of us, if we stand up together, can point to the direction of what is working and bring that to scale and then make a change in that incremental way that is going to impact, I think, the direction and the arc of this country and the destiny of young people.